Wolfgang Van Halen has been no stranger to trolls on Twitter who have accused him of riding his dad's coattails. In announcing his group Mammoth WVH's second album simply titled Mammoth 2, he recently shared the album single Another Celebration at the End of the World. The record is due out August 4th through BMG. Wolfgang has been pretty calm when dealing with internet trolls and some trolls have criticized him for not covering Van Halen songs during Mammoth's live shows while others have slammed him for simply using the name Van Halen in his band. One exchange happened on March 21st of this year when he tweeted out, either you be a Van Halen Jr. and people get pissed at you for riding coattails, or you don't and you're disrespecting the legacy, it's bonkers. One user on Twitter responded saying, if a person wants to make a name for themselves, they wouldn't take advantage of their famous father's last name and band name. His father and uncle didn't have that. Everyone in the band didn't have that. Matter of fact, majority of current and former bands and singers didn't have that. That led Wolfie to deliver the comeback, Van Halen is literally my f***ing name, you grape. There was more to come. You guys understand Van Halen is literally a name. Like way before it was a band, right? That good old American rock and roll you love so much was written by a Dutch immigrant. It was following that exchange that Wolfie posted on Twitter a poll asking his followers what name he should use to make everyone happy. The options include Wolfgang ACDC, Wolfgang The Who, or Wolfgang Paul McCartney. Apparently Wolfgang Led Zeppelin led the poll getting 35.6% of the votes. However, Wolfgang has also had to deal with more high profile trolls, including Eddie I Know Everybody Trunk, who he responded to last year. In March of 2022, Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins would pass away while the band was on tour. It was shortly after his death, two tribute shows would be announced for the drummer, both taking place in September of the same year. A few weeks before the first show was announced, Eddie Trunk would take to Twitter to post the following message. All of the Taylor Hawkins tribute stuff looks amazing and well-deserved, but every Van Halen fan has to be trying to figure out how two massive events in two countries could come together in months for Taylor and almost two years after Eddie Van Halen passed nothing. Guitarist Eddie Van Halen would pass away in late 2020 after a long battle with cancer. It's believed that Trunk's tweet was in response to an interview his son Wolfgang gave to Rolling Stone where the topic of a tribute show was discussed where he said the following. What I can say is that there's an attempt at doing something, but you know, I don't speak negatively about people. But there's some people who make it very difficult to do anything when it comes to Van Halen. Wolfgang would respond to Trunk's comments on Twitter and fans who shared a similar sentiment saying, it's not my job to help you people deal with my dad dying. If I can even begin to try and collect myself during all the immature harassment from this type of passive aggressive arguments and insults for the past two years, then you can figure it out too. I'm just so done. 